Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about elastic search implementation in Pega. So let's get started into the problem. Normally we should have search functionality in uh, for any platform to find some rules, to find some work objects or to find some documents that we have uploaded and all. So in the same way, Pega also provides some OOTB search functionality to us. There are actually two types of search functionalities. One is elastic search and second one is search and reporting service. Elastic search is a third party search engine that works effectively during high volumes of rules as well. And search and reporting service is like externalizing the full text search functionalities into an independent microservice. This video is all about uh, elastic search, how it is implemented in Pega. So in Pega platform, you have to go to configure, system, settings, and search here you can see indexing search indexing is enabled over here and uh, if you scroll down there are three tabs over here default dedicated and custom so before that i would like to search one section for you guys this is a delegate section now i'm searching this see it is available in this respective class and this is the section on this one now i will disable this and i will refresh this and I will go for search. See, it is unable to get the rule. That's why it is uh, just popping out all the rules that are available in the system. So, this is uh, one of the advantage of search. It is for uh, searching a respective rule in a proper way. Now I have enable this search index next if you see here there are three rows over here one is all rules all data and all work so all work is uh, about uh, the work objects like the case ids that we create and this is all data and all rules so if i remove this and refresh and search see it is unable to fetch this rule now i have enabled this so what is this reindex on all the tabs we can see this reindex in all the rows so reindex is nothing but it will actually there is an OTB activity which uh, pega keeps uh, the rule in the search criteria so if you find like you are unable to uh, search few rules or if you search some data and if you see some status is invariant other than available over here just go here and click on reindex it would be asking these options like uh, shall we index all the classes or only classes that are listed below only the respective class you can select over here or if you want to exempt few classes you can just uh, give that over here or uh, you can give any class that you want there is no restriction over here okay but reindexing will take time why because pega search engine again uh, takes all the rules uh, for example if you click on all rules it would uh, take criteria of rule resolution also and it uh, do indexing in backend and this is dedicated column where uh, you can see these are the classes that are available in our application so if you want to delete a dedicated you can do it if you want to reindex just if you click this and you click ok this is custom tab now if i scroll down if you want to index work attachments the attachments that we add to a case you can give this and uh, you can uh, specify like uh, how much uh, size file you want to index it And there are two separate queue processes that are available in Pega. This is PY FTS incremental index and PY batch indexer processor. These two are the key uh, indexes. Why? Because when you create a new section, the particular queue processor makes sure to pick the case and it keeps in our index and it will enable us to search the rule in uh, search bar. Suppose as uh, mine is a personal edition, I can have only one node. 
so if there are applications uh, having more nodes and uh, you want to see like elastic search is available in all the nodes or not you can uh, go here and click add node and you can add your node and you can see the node status and here if you want to monitor uh, search alerts you can give some frequency over here and uh, suppose uh, when system is doing some re and if there are some changes to this uh, particular uh, uh, system like in production you want to know if someone is doing uh, illegally uh, this configuration if you want to know that you can give here an email account and the email addresses you want to get the update and these are the other uh, options that we have in our search criteria so here you can go to admin studio resources queue processors you can see this particular queue process is in uh, running state and the other one PY batch indexer this is also in running state so if you face some issues uh, during indexing and you feel like some indexers are not working properly or you are unable to find some rules then uh, it's better to go here and check whether someone has stopped this uh, particular queue process you can go here and stop it if you want your background processing for the search to be stopped if not you can go here and click on start so in this way you can uh, troubleshoot the elastic search as well thanks for watching this video hope you have learned a new concept in pega thanks for watching this video please stay tuned to this channel for more pega videos